Oh God, how are you guys feeling? Especially those of you who are hypersensitive to these frequencies. How are you doing? Well, I just want to very quickly go over some information. And I want to thank my subscriber for reminding me about this. This right here, moral judgments can be altered by magnets, MIT, by disrupting brain activity in a particular region. Neuroscientists can sway people's views of moral situations. <gasps> oh, wow, that's not good. If our moral judgments can be swayed, can be manipulated, can be modified by an external power, that is really not good. So yes, I do want to thank that subscriber because I had videos on Kafka Winston World right on this subject and, well, they're gone. So, MIT neuroscientists have now shown they can influence those judgments by interfering with activity in a specific brain region, a finding that helps reveal how the brain constructs morality. And aren't we seeing an awful lot of immorality these days? Yes, they can alter our right temporoparietal junction, which is highly active when we think about other people's intentions, thoughts, and beliefs. Hmm. Well, it's that magnetic field. <gasps> that electromagnetic field. Those frequencies coming from all gadgets, cell phones, cell towers, wind towers, those extremely low frequency transmitters. Might the frequencies have something to do with what we are seeing today? Oh, a moral breakdown in our country. I also want to thank another subscriber for sending me this. Liebird is a voice mimic for the fake news era. A Montreal-based AI startup called Wybird has taken the wraps off a voice imitation algorithm that the team says can not only mimic the speech of a real person, but shift its emotional cadence and do all this with just a tiny snippet of real world audio. <gasps> And so many of us have real world audio that we have posted on social media and they can take us down anytime they want by posting a video. And it will be a fake video, but it will sound like us. And it, oh yes, they can actually take a selfie, a picture of us off the internet and they can, with that picture, create a live avatar and put our voice to it. And voila, we have no defense. Mobile phone talk mode signal delays EEG determined sleep onset. Okay. I just came across another study that proves that one should not have the cell phone right by their bed, on their bedside table, please get rid of it. But if you are just so addicted to your cell phone and you gotta sleep with it just inches away, then I suggest you not have it on talk. Listen, or stand by, turn it off. If you gotta keep it on, then talk is the worst. You are placing yourself in a very, very dangerous position, mobile phone signals are pulse modulated microwaves. I have posted many videos of those pulses that you can see when the camera is going in and out of focus and I am taking a video of the sky. These pulses are extremely dangerous, very dangerous. So this study uh, I'm not going to go into it, but what they found was exposure, post-exposure, 
meaning that you had exposure to your cell phone. And the study said, okay, now turn it off. And the room darkened. And a 90-minute sleep opportunity followed. What they found with three groups, one group had cell phones on talk, which means the cell phone was just on. And another group had it on standby, and another group had it on listen. It was the talk mode that they found sleep disturbances. Research proves that exposure to cell phone and wireless radiation can worsen pre-existing conditions. Even if it didn't cause them, it can worsen your pre-existing conditions. You know, and even when I talk to people, tell them, hmm, well, if the Wi-Fi didn't cause your MS, it may be worsening your MS, so you might want to do some research on Wi-Fi and, well, even just do an experiment. Get rid of the Wi-Fi for uh, six months and see if you get better, right? You'll still have the Internet. Hell, you can buy an Ethernet cord that's 100 feet, 100 feet long. You can still walk around with that laptop. Do people do it? No. My neighbor moved into another apartment here. She has so many medical conditions. She can't, she can't walk. She'll walk across the parking lot to take her dog out and then walk back literally cannot walk. Um, I told her, when you move, make sure that you tell that phone company that you do not want Wi-Fi and have it hardwired. Have it, have it, um, get an Ethernet cord. Did she? No. 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 And those of us who know how dangerous these frequencies are, we're trapped in a world we reduce our exposure as much as possible, but we're trapped in a world of Wi-Fi and smart meters. And we get worse. Hey, thanks, fellow citizens of the world. Thank you so much. So, what else do we have? We have another large animal study proving that radio frequencies cause tumors in the heart. Schwann cells. This large study found tumors in the Schwann cells. I didn't know we had Schwann cells, but apparently we do. So, Schwannoma. There's Schwannomas in the hearts of male rats. Maybe, maybe rats only have Schwann cells, and then they get Schwannomas. Well, I, I think the reason for this uh, article is because what happens to the rats happens to us. So, whether it's Schwann cells or just some cell, doesn't matter. The cell phone radiation causes tumors in the heart. And the same kind of radiation is emitted from smart meters and Wi-Fi. I want you to watch this. Wow. Well, you didn't really get to see it because, oh, the capture was not, it was just not, oh, sorry about that. You know what I'm talking about. So we'll watch it right here. New Hampshire. Live free or die. Nice guy, huh? Nice guy. Yeah. Just push that woman right, right away. Pretty horrible, huh? Wow. Alrighty. Let, let's take a look at this.
Next tonight, here to what many consider the road rage epidemic in America. A dramatic new video showing a couple in Oklahoma forced off the highway by an aggressive driver. And tonight, the urgent hunt to find that other driver. Here's ABC's Steve Osinsami. Oklahoma police tonight tell us they're looking for this hothead seen on cell phone video driving this pickup truck. Here's where he loses it, ramming 18-year-old Noah Wilson and a friend off the road and into a guardrail. In Florida, highway authorities say it could be a long summer. This was outside Tampa, where a driver's temper went from zero to 100. His two victims say they're lucky they weren't killed. Yeah, we just got run over by a car. Police arrested 31-year-old Robert Paul Vance and charged him with attempted murder. He's pleading not guilty. People are crazy, man. Like, anywhere, it's, your life could like, end instantly. Witnesses say this fight in Houston over the weekend broke out over a right turn. And that aggravated the, the truck driver because he thought, oh, no, you're not. You're not going in front of me. And this beatdown of a driver near Tampa last month only ended when the driver's wife pulled out a pistol. Authorities tonight are encouraging angry drivers to take a deep breath because more than two-thirds of all traffic fatalities are caused by aggressive driving. And the worst day for road rage is Friday. David? Friday? Maybe it's because people are tired from working all week long. Actual or potential effects of extremely low frequency and radio frequency microwave radiation on enhancing violence and homicide and accelerating aging of human, animal, or plant cells. Rapid aging and violence. And unfortunately, this is our environment now. It, we are just saturated with an awful lot of very dangerous frequencies coming at us. And, well, the human race is clearly acting pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Road rage explains cell phone radiation lowers impulse control, disrupts blood-brain barrier. And I'm not even going to get it. But, you know, you think about all of those kids in schools with that Wi-Fi just, just exploding their brains. Yes, yeah, cell phone radiation adversely affects the brain. That's not breaking news. No, it is not. Warnings in regard to drivers being exposed to high levels of radiation while using cell phones is not breaking news either. That's right. It's not. Man, so what's breaking news? Well, not much. What's breaking news? A lot of violence occurring. Uh, old news, actually, but people are getting worse because the cumulative effect of these frequencies coming out of cell towers, Glen Towers, cell phones, all of your iPhone smartphones, your iPads, your iPods, um, TV screens, computer screens, smart meters, Wi-Fi routers, appliances. Oh, so many different sources. So the cumulative effect of all of these frequencies is not good. And it makes people more agitated, more stressed. Yeah, more crazy, more angry, and violent. So I will link below to this article, Wi-Fi, the invisible killing fields. Wow, the invisible killing fields. Well, that's what we're living. There are no safe levels of radiation. Barry Trower, physicist and former military experiment on microwave radiation. Here, let's just read a few, a few words. Scientific and medical evidence has shown conclusively that the low frequency pulsed Radio and microwave frequencies are causing significant damage to our cells, resulting in extreme increases in autism, heart irregularities, brain wave changes, cancer, and generational fertility destruction in males, but even more significantly in females. Most prominent changes due to Wi-Fi radiation, though, is with our children and teenagers due to their developing immune systems and thinner skeletal structure, uh, structures. Parents, 
When are you going to start protecting your children? As stated by university researchers, government scientists, and international scientific advisors, a minimum of 57.7% of schoolgirls exposed to low-level microwave radiation, Wi-Fi, ah, Wi-Fi, and the routers are right in their classrooms. Yes, Wi-Fi. They're at risk of suffering stillbirth, fetal abnormalities, or genetically damaged children, genetically damaged children when they give birth. Parents, you're looking forward to your retirement years with your grandchildren? Any genetic damage may pass to successive generations. So, I'm going to end with, oh, as quick as I can do it, our ultra-low, extremely low frequencies being set off around the country. Here we have our ultra-low frequencies in Halifax. Oh, and these frequencies, they, they have a range miles, 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 miles long. Very dangerous. And they cause road rage and irritation and depression and a whole lot of physical pain and a lot of mental fog. Oh God, the list is long, very long. But what do we have going on down here? Well, we've got some frequencies uh, west of Richmond and uh, Virginia. And we have here, oh, ultra low, extremely low frequencies here in North Carolina. That's right, right here. And they sure are strong, visible, very dangerous. Oh, what else can they do? Oh, they can modify the weather. They can hold weather systems in place and flood people out. They can cause earthquakes. And they do have very disturbing effects on cognition, emotions, mental states, physicality. And look at them. Oof. Right here. See it all? And we've got intersecting beams. That's not good. Because when you get these intersecting beams, boom! They really provide quite a force. They can do an awful lot with that. Big time. So I'm glad I documented that. And if anything happens right around that area in what is it, Greenville, Irwin, Johnson City, Morristown. Um, oh. No, I'm sorry, that. These are coming out of Tennessee and going into North Carolina. Right there is the intersecting beams. So if anything happens close to the Tennessee border in North Carolina, hmm, I hope to God not. All right, so let's go on down. Oh, we've got more ultra-low frequencies coming right on into South Carolina. Hey, right where I live. Ain't that sweet. Ain't that sweet right here. Oof. We are in a frequency war, that's for sure. That's for sure. All right, so we have ultra low frequencies that are shooting from Georgia into South Carolina. This is where I live, let me tell you. I am experiencing symptoms physically, mentally. My cognition ain't the best. Emotionally. Very hard to just keep going. Especially when it's like every day. Are you kidding? 
you get really tired. You get really tired. Now I'm saying this, oh, not for sympathy. I'm saying it because I read your comments and I've spoken to so many that one who I really care for doesn't feel like she's going to make it. Another that I really care for is so done with feeling like crap. I know a lot of you are. We're casualties of this war. See these frequencies right in here? See it? It's like a zapping. It's like a sawtooth saw. But when you see these very fine defined right angle precipitation, uh, precipitable ma masses, that's not mother nature, guys. It's just not mother nature. All right. So, all right, let's go on. Yeah, you guys, Seattle, Oregon, California, Idaho, Montana, Utah, getting hammered. Well, we may be getting hammered in my area as well. It's just when there is precipitation, I can see it. But yeah, uh, an awful lot of ultra low frequencies still going off in your area. And coming out of Great Falls, Missoula, uh, you got your square patches of rain and then a nice, <laughs> a nicely defined square. You know, it, 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 Mother Nature now is giving us, you know, outlines. Oh, we've got some sleet and snow bordering the grain in a square. Um, and, of course, Seattle. And say, uh, right here, hmm, right around St. Helens. Uh, these, you know, I see these ultra low frequencies in this area, and man, you've got some volcanoes out there. And they're talking about these swarms of earthquakes and the big one coming, and then I see these ultra low frequencies, which can cause earthquakes. And you gotta wonder, whoa, what the hell is going on? We're at war, guys. This is no joke. This is very real. We are at war. And a whole lot of people are going down. It's not lost on me ever that we're at war. We have these ultra low frequencies right here. You can see all of the very nice uh, fanned out faded lines. They're right in your face, guys. Right up here in Canada. Yep. Nice, huh? The effects are very real. The effects are... Many of you are suffering the effects. And what do you do? Detox. Try to get the heavy metals that we're breathing in from our geoengineering experts. Try to get them out of your body. Detox with uh, zeolite, um, baking soda. Soda? <laughs> I just got hit with such a high-pitched tone right in my left ear. More ultra-low frequencies. We're at war. This is no joke. And this is... This is uh, happening right now. It's not coming. The shit has been hitting the fan forever. The shit is not going to be hitting the fan sometime 
sometime in the future.